Hey, yo, what's up? This Disciple Marcello Kearns Rain back up in this anti-Illuminati all day, anti-America all day. As you know, you know the reasons why. So if you've been following my videos, you do. Um, This message is going to be about Russia and China not having child marriage. Russia and China does not have child marriage but America does so you got those are the three in my opinion those are the three biggest superpowers there are in the country the top three Russia China and America All right out of the three you are the only one that has child marriage. Now, in China, they say that uh, it still goes on in in an underworld, but not by law, not by their the Chinese laws. The Russians do not have it. I, they didn't, you know, the information I read didn't express any. Uh, underworld problem with mad child marriage. America, you're openly marrying children. Let's get to the reality of this stuff. Let's get to the reality of this. Let's get to the reality of this. Russia is not, Russia does not have child marriage. All the stuff you be talking about Russia. Russia this, Russia that, Russia this, Russia that. Russia, Russia, Russia. Russia everywhere. Russia over there. Russia over here. All this stuff about Russia. We still haven't figured out what, what the biggest problem that Russia presents to America. What is the biggest problem? What is the major biggest problem that Russia presents to the American community. What do they present? What's the biggest problem they present? I want to know. I want to know what you're feeling. <laughs> I want to know what's the biggest problem that Russia pre presents to us. I've never heard it. Sim simple and plain. Culturally speaking, we don't know as Americans what we what Russia presents, what problem they present to us. What's the real problem that they present to us? Okay, communism is their problem. I'm talking about the problem that they present to you. That's a seven. Are they always trying to do this, always trying to do that? You sure you didn't start that? You didn't you sure you didn't start them spying on you because you were doing all kind of other stuff? Who knows? Who knows if you're gonna admit who initiated this rivalry between you? We don't know. We don't know all we don't know who they sent out. We don't know who America how America's been picking on them or how America may have tried to keep the upper hand and did little underhanded stuff. We don't know. We don't know. All I can go by is what are they presenting? What's the problems? What's the open problems that they are presenting to the American community and government? What are the open? What are the problems? Hmm. And we still don't know, do we? Well, the American community sh should be able to tell you why we don't, why their country don't like Russians. They can't tell you. <laughs> they can't tell you, can they? Well, it looks like you just jumped on the government's, the American government's bandwagon and just took in and just inherited an enemy, willingly inherited an enemy. You didn't have to inherit it. You willingly did it. You just accepted them as your enemy. And the real thing is, is the real problem is, it's all, they, they just as big as America, if not bigger. That's the whole problem. So there's just this rivalry there. It could have been a healthy rivalry, but I feel like America always got to turn it into something else. 
It could have been a healthy rivalry, and it, it did not become that. Think about that part. Because the two biggest countries in the world are going to have some type of rivalry. That's just how it is. And it could have been a healthy rivalry. But who you think between the two made it an unhealthy rivalry? That's a seven. Al. With all these racist people, let's keep it 100. All these racist people in the government, all these white Americans bugged out and everything. You, you Who you think made the rivalry unhealthy? Chronically unhealthy. Who you think did it? Who do you think did that? I would assume that America did it. Because they keep pressing on Russia over the decades. Oh, and they still can't tell you what the real problems are. They still can't tell you that. They still can't tell you. China. China. Look, you see the pattern? They have a problem with with, with, with China and Russia. And it's, it's the biggest, it's the biggest groups. And they still can't tell you why they got problems with them. Because they are the competition in their eyes. That's what it is. The competition to be number one on top and therefore dominate financially in, in every way. And in every way they want to dominate. And those are the threats for this country to dominate. See, the top country does not should not have to dominate. You shouldn't have to dominate. You should be able to coexist with Russia. You should be able to coexist with China without dominating. But see, you don't have the discipline as a country to do so. That's why your karma is like it is. You feel that you have to dominate. We feel that you have to coexist. That's why all the resources in the world, you be you go over and take them, you do this and you rape, you basically rape the world. That's what you do. You rape the world. That's what you do. Of resources, oil, gold, all different types of things. All different types of resources. This is what you do. You rape the world. That's how some people feel. And you play world police. That's everybody know that. You play world police. Yeah, you play world police all the time, everywhere you go. And this, this last war with Ukraine, the whole reason you even went to war with them. Oh, yeah, you see how I put it? <laughs> but you went to war with Russia. Yeah, but I ain't going to put it like that. The Russian and Ukraine war, why you were so interested in jumping in that, is so you could fight Russia. You got to put sanctions on them. You still got to attack. You still got to attack. That's what it was all about. Because we still don't know why you were so involved with Ukraine. Why were you so involved? By Why? Because Russia was such a superpower? It's such a superpower? You feel the need to defend? Well, this is what Ukrainian the Ukraine leadership said in the beginning that everybody forgot about. They said, why is the West panicking about this war? That's what they were doing. They were more scared than the Ukrainians. So it seemed. So what it really was, was they were desperate to jump in and it was an opportunity to, it was an opportunity to jump in this war this is what I believe. I'm saying it like this. It was an opportunity to fight Russia. Okay? 
and how you know they're cowards, they did it indirectly. You don't ever see them fighting Russia directly. But you do it indirectly through siding with the Ukrainians, helping them fight the Russians. That's look, keep it 100. You're supplying them to fight the Russians. That's the facts. You're putting sanctions, taking McDonald's, like somebody cared about that food, taking McDonald's out of Russia. It's all, I'm, this. you got to see it for what it is. They wanted problems with Russia and they got what they wanted, but it's not the end. Okay? Now, back to the biggest issue, which is family, human beings. See, what you don't realize about me explaining this child marriage, it involves human beings beings. That's what it involves. It involves human beings. Okay? And uh, you're marrying these human beings before they have a time, before they have time to form an identity. This is the bad part about marrying children in our present day culture. Because the present day people are not as healthy as they once were. Someone that would marry in our community in America, a child, will probably form an animal out of the child. The child will basically be, become a pet with no identity used for sexual pleasure. Because child marriage is using children for sexual pleasure. That's a seven. Well, it ain't for romance. Anybody can be romantic with a child. Anybody can uh, romance a child and wine and dine a child. How can you wine and dine a child? So there's no romance in the marriage. Then the child is just a sex object. That's all it is. The child is reduced to a sex object, which is no different than pedophilia, which is in essence pedophilia. You reduce a, a child down to a sex object. In America, you are doing that with child marriage. You got 44 states with child marriage, which is more than half, almost all of your country. Six states away from being all of your country. You have nine states, which this is another law, that allows adults to marry children at any age. You have, you have that law as well. And it was passed July 1st, 2019. And you have the world record for the lowest age of consent worldwide you have the world record for the lowest age of consent I'm not talking about who has the lowest age of consent presently you have the world record let's just put it like this if as far as the lowest age of consent for sex you Americans have the Guinness Book of World Records record you got the, the, the Guinness Books of World Record record Huh? The the lowest age that has ever been in modern record keeping history is seven years old. Is seven years old. Is seven years old, right? There's nobody in the rest of the world that has made by government a law for pe for adults to have sex with children that are seven years old. China hasn't done it. Russia hasn't done it. And Russia hasn't had child marriage. And China hasn't, have child, hasn't had chi child marriage. You're the only one sitting up with your chest out, acting like you're so grand and special. And this whole time, also, you have not had the age of consent 
at 18 in all 50 states. You're supposed to be the leader of, of everybody. Not looking to see where everybody else's flaws is at. Not looking to see where you can you can compare yourself. One over here, you talk about you the leader and, and you lead by example as far as the whole world. And then when we talk about this, now you all of a sudden you want to talk about other countries. But over here, you want to talk about how you're greater than other countries, how you're not even comparable. But but then you start comparing yourself when we talk about this part. OK, that's a seven. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I don't see how, I mean, that's why I believe anarchy is on the way. I'm not calling for it. I'm not asking somebody to go make it happen. But it's bound to happen when people have 44 states in America. The country has 44 states as child at with child marriage and you think people going to feel the need to obey the laws we're only obeying what we, what 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 is enforced basically meaning what we're only complying with what we get locked up for i i'm not per se obeying any law system that marries children i don't care what damn laws they talk about I'm not obeying none of them. What would, how would, how, what man would I be sit here to tell you about 44 states with child marriage, but I'm obeying the, the, this same system. I'm not obeying it at all at this point. You put yourself in this situation. See what you should have did. You should have got, you should have got a control of your community. They played with me, kept playing with me, playing on issues. Do, you see, I got my freedom, so obviously I've done no, there's no crimes here. You obviously don't see any crimes. Okay? No. Okay? And, but, but they played and played and played until I investigated and God led me, I believe God led me to information about you. Now, if they hadn't played with me, I can't say that I would have investigated this, this information because I would have been too busy living my life as I was. See, before you was playing games, I was living my life, being free, doing what young people do. Partying, drinking, having sex. That's what young people do. Then you start playing games with me and I, I went commando. I went commando, Rambo commando. You start playing games with me. Sure did. Okay. You, you play with me and I'm in my party. You play with me. I'm not saying I necessarily want to continue to live my life like that forever. But if you play with me and I'm chilling and I'm enjoying my life and I'm partying and you pull me out of that, I'm definitely going to serve you what you're looking for. And what we found, what we found was that you got 44 states in America, right here in present day America. You got 44 states with child marriage. That's the end of your law system. That's anarchy in itself. You have to end it soon. Who is going to obey them? What police are going to work for them? Any police feel like still working for people that's marrying children in 44 states while you're out trying to uphold the law? You got some good cops. They just ignorant, stupid. You upholding the laws. You trying to be the most honorable person when you around the children. You're honorable when you're around families. You try to keep your mind pure, your heart pure, and soul pure like all the rest of us do when you're interacting with family and children. And then they have no restraint over here in your American government marrying children in 44 states while you trying to keep your mind pure as it can be. That's the work we're doing. 
And look how morally lazy and slouch they've become. While the rest of us are working our best to be the best human beings we can be. And they have no care about it. It's, they don't even care. They pass the laws that allows adults to marry children at any age. And this law was passed July 1st, 2019. This, this was, that's 39 months ago. That's only 39 months ago. That's 39 months ago when they passed this law, right? So why would you, so, so, so how can you, how can you continue to be a part of this law system? This is where we are and it may hurt. It may, it may, it may be the hardest thing in reality for you to accept because now you have to put this information with the faces of your government. That's a seven. You have to put this information with the faces of your government. Now you got to look at Joe Biden according to 44 states for child marriage. Oh, you, you're not thinking about it when you're looking at him? You got to look at Kamala Harris when she used to be a prosecutor out in California. You got to look at her in her face when she used to prosecute probably sex uh, criminals. You got to look her in her face with this 44 states child marriage now. You got to you got to look at her differently. You got to look at her according to reality. And according to reality is 44 states with child marriage. You got to look at all these politicians. Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, go down the list. How come Hillary? How come Hillary ain't been saying nothing about this? How come Hillary Clinton? She's been in politics longer than Donald Trump, longer than Joe Biden. Pretty much. How come she ain't said nothing about it? All the OGs in this in the White House. That's who you need to be looking at. All these people that's been around for decades. You need to be looking at them the most. But the reason why you need to be looking at Donald Trump above them all, well, I could give you a couple handful of reasons, but he he passed a law. Well, he seen under his administration, a law was passed July 1st, 2019, that allows adults to marry children at no minimum age, meaning at any age. This this the first, the, the amount of states that started out with it first, I think was 12 and then it went up to 20 and then it went up to 9 and then it went down to 9. But if you was really trying to solve a problem, you would have all the states annihilated as as far as connected to this law. The law will be annihilated from all the country. You care about how it, it looks, how it looks. They don't look too bad. If it was one state, like I clarified before, if it was one state that did this, you know how many counties is in one state? You know how many counties in miles, square miles, are in one state? You know how many neighborhoods are in one state? All of them are under child marriage and no minimum age. All those counties, all those neighborhoods in one state alone. One state here in America alone. All those counties and neighborhoods, if they have the, the age of cons uh, the law passed July 1st, 2019, 
that allows adults to marry children at any age. All those counties and neighborhoods is under those, under that law. You see what I'm saying? And this is, this is uh, why I express it wouldn't matter if it was just one state in America. They try to make it look clean. Because I think they know that I'm talking about it. Oh, yeah. Why all of a sudden now, people that agree with abandoning it all of a sudden, why are they banning it? After three years of being in, into three years, why are they starting to ban it? Because the information is circling and you still haven't fixed it because 44 states with child marriage is the worst one of them all. Well, you got, I don't care about this new law so much, July 1st, 2019. What about the 44 states with child marriage? How you going, how you going, how you going to sugarcoat that one? How are you going to make that one look good? Huh? Ain't no way, is it? You got 44 states with child marriage with nowhere to run. If I'm the enemy, good. I'm the enemy of people that's marrying children in 44 states. You think I, you, that's an honor to me. That's a badge of honor to be your enemy. With you marrying children, why isn't it? It ain't like you honorable. And that's why I try to tell the military, you are honorable, but you fall for a country that is not honorable. And you have to accept that many of the, all of the wars that you fought, you fought under a country that never had, either never had the age of consent at 18 in all 50 states, or they had 44 states with child marriage. They was always in a bad state in all those wars that you fought. I know it's a tough pill to swallow. But reality is necessary. It is necessary. I tried to tell the military this, the difference between their honor and their government's honor. That's a seven. Yeah, we ain't talking about you individually. I don't even know you individually. I'm talking about your institution and, and the institution that you fight for. It. Okay? Okay. And you're fighting for a country that is marrying children. How, how can you expect me? How am I supposed to see you? How am I supposed to see you? You shouldn't be doing it. You shouldn't be fighting for them. And that's what I'm telling you. That's why anarchy is on the way. The true anarchy. Because no one is going to feel the need. Police, firemen, military, everyday common folk. They're not going to feel the need to obey a system doing this. And look, here's the here's the kicker. It's going to be more, more stuff that make you feel no need to obey them. It's going to be more than this. Watch. You already see how reckless they are in the White House. Look at Donald Trump. You see how reckless he is? You ain't going to be obeying him. You ain't going to be obeying America based off the president's. <laughs> The president, the pres not just the laws, the presidents is are going to make you rebel. That's who's gonna make you rebel too. Joe Biden just messed up 20 years of progress over in Afghanistan. That's what Joe Biden did. He just messed up 20 years of progress by allowing the troops to be withdrawn from. Afghanistan and the and the Taliban got on top of the government therefore all the progress of taking terrorism out of Afghanistan was totally in vain because now the terrorists are on back of are on back of the American of the Afghanistan government so Joe Biden just messed that up so you know he ain't getting reelected. That's the first thing his opponents are going to uh, harp on. And the military, too. The military is not going to be a part of that. They are not going to be. They can't, like, they're probably waiting for him to get out. So, see, 
it, it's it's just it's all it's all it's all at a place that you are not recognizing it's at. It's not at the same. This is not. Oh, here we are with politics once again. This ain't. This is not politics. I'm telling you about laws, laws, laws in your politics. You see the difference? Or excuse me, laws in your government. That's not per se politics. I mean, not to me. You're, when you, I mean, when you talk about politics, laws can be involved. But I'm telling you about 44 states marrying children. These laws. Now, is that necessarily politics? That I'm how I'm telling it. Nah. So I'm trying to get Americans to not have this approach. Like here we are talking about politics again. Here we are. You know, you, you know, you, you know, people can't talk about nothing but. They can't talk about religion and politics. Nah, but that's not this situation. Some people say, you know, religion and politics, no one can talk about, right? But that's not this situation. We're talking about vital information to your community about your government passing laws to allow your children to be in a marriage. And 44 states in America... I, I feel like this is revolutionary information. This ain't no uh this is a political bombshell. This is a a, a law, American government law bombshell, but I wouldn't consider it uh me discussing necessarily politics per se when it comes to these laws. And Russia, China does not have